So hey everyone, this is Trevor here. So we'll be solving today problem C from Code Forces Round 632. So what is the problem states? The problem states you'll be given a string S and you'll be given an integer K. So what you have to do is, let's say this is the string S given and you're given this K as two. So what you have to do is, you have to break the string into two parts. And when you're breaking it, make sure that every character is only used once. That means if there is this A, this should only be used once. If there is this A, this should only be used once. So what does this mean? You cannot have like this A, A, and then again A, B. So what is happening is you're using A thrice. So over here, there was only two A's. So at max, you can use only two A's. So if you break it, uh, one of the possible breaks can be this. Since it says you have to, you have to make K equal to two breaks. So one of the possible breaks is B and B, A. The other possible break is A and A, B, B. The other possible break is A, B, A, B. The other possible break is A, A, B, B. So you might give an argument why only this for there might be A, B and then B, A. Yeah, there can be multiples. Uh, you can write all of them. But then I'll take this four and try to explain you the question. So if you take B, A and B, A, who's the maximum of them? Now, when I say maximum, who's the lexicographically largest? Uh, what is lexicographically? The dictionary order. So if you don't know dictionary order, please Google it. So B, A and B, A, who's the uh, largest of them? Obviously, B, A. So let's write B. A. Who's the larger of A, A, B, B? If you see a whole appear last in the dictionary, that is A, B, B. So let's write A, B, B. Of A, B and A, B, who's the largest? Again, A, B. Of A, A and B, B, who's the largest? B, B. So among them, you got to figure out who is the lexicographically smallest, the one which appears to occur first in the dictionary. So you can say, okay, A, B will always occur in the first in the dictionary. So you got to print A, A, B. So this is the question. You got to break them into two strings such that the maximum of them, that means the maximum of them is the minimum. So this is what the question states. So how will you uh, solve such problems? To solve such problems, you have to think constructively. Now, when I say constructively, what does that mean? You got to break down the problem into cases. So let's break it down into cases. So the first case is very easy. So let's take the string and let's take K equal to four. So if you take the string A, A, B, D, D, E. Now I've already sorted it because uh, since we are performing dictionary operations, really it is very obvious that you'll always take the smallest character when you want to form this particular thing, right? If you want to form K strings, it'll always take the smallest one. Since we want to break the string into four strings. So the first day that we take is we put it over here. The second day we put it over here. The third day we put it over here. And then I put B over here. So what does that signify? So can I easily say, since I'm putting a different character over here, this guy has already become lexicographically larger than these strings. Since this has already become lexicographically larger, what is my next thing? The question says, minimize the lexicographical larger. So I got to minimize this portion because this has already become lexicographically larger. I got to minimize it. So when I say minimize, so does it make any sense to add any further characters to it? No, it doesn't make sense because adding further characters will eventually mean you are increasing it. If you're adding B and C, that means you're eventually increasing it because B is lexicographically smaller. And since you need the minimal one, so that is the reason we will not add anything to B. Now, since we're not adding anything to B, so there we are left with DDE. So we can just plug in over here, doesn't matter. Because what matters is this B. So the first case is very simple. If S of zero is not equal to S of K minus one, that means we have already made this guy a smaller quantity. And since both of them are not equal, this is the guy who will always be the lexicographically smaller. So whatever the elements come, I can just attach it to them. And this will be the maximum one, but then I am not adding anything to it. Hence, it will always remain minimized. So if the first and this character doesn't match because you are eventually putting S of zero over here and S of K minus over here. Now, since the constraint says K is less than equal to N. So we can be very much sure that we will easily find someone over here and someone over here. So if this is the case, we can say our answer is nothing but this guy only. So if this is the case, we know our answer is S of K minus one. So we have solved it for the first case. So let's discuss case two. 
the case two is very simple if the first index is equivalent to the k minus one so what does that signifies and if k was four you have placed someone equivalent over everywhere let's say put an a a and a over here so currently every one of them are lexicographically equal now you want to make someone lexicographically larger then you don't want to make it much larger so let's take this uh, string and discuss how the solution look like since uh, you have already plugged in four a's over here since s of 0 s of 0 is equal to s of k minus 1 we simply plug in the first a's over here then you are left with b c d e now if you plug b over here if you plug c over here if you plug d over here if you plug e over here so eventually the lexicographically largest one will be a of e but then what if i do this a b c d and e so can i say i got someone as a b c d e which is lesser than a of e and hence i was able to maximize this among all of them and then i also minimize it so why does this work now if you're attaching b to s after that you know all the characters in the string will be greater than this b so what is the point in attaching them to other people because that will eventually make it lexicographically larger instead i will attach it to myself and that will be my answer so you have figured out that if s of o is s of k minus 1 what we do is we take s of o or s of k minus 1 and then from k to the rest we just attach it so this is our second case now let's solve for the third case so let's take this string and k equal to 4 so according to the second case what you'll do is you'll add a over here add a over here add a over here add a over here and then you'll append the entire remaining a's to over here so ultimately you get something as a a a a as the answer but then is this the lexicographically smallest among uh, the all possible combos? No, I can find something better. I'll show you that. If I take A, 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 A again, A again, A again, A again. So I can say I got A, A now, which is lexicographically smaller than this guy. But then you might argue, we just now proved. Now over here, it worked because C, D, E was greater than the B. Hence, appending it to someone else would have made it larger. So that is the reason we appended it to the current one. So you might uh, think of a case where the string is this. So over here also you got to append B, B, C, D over here. So why is that? So think if you would have taken this B out and appended it to this. So you would have got something as A, B, C, D, which is again greater than the one you got, right? A, B, B, C, D, because this is B, B and this is B, C. So this is the smallest possible. So unless and until all of them are equal you just append it and when all of them are equal what you do is you simply add it the distribution was very easy because over here we had four what if over here we had five a's i'll distribute it uh, it's very easy don't skip don't panic about it just add one more a to it now even if we had six you'll add one because next day gets added over here next day gets added over here next day gets added over here so what do you do is you know the block size right that's very easy that is nothing but n minus k since the block size is n minus k, how many times you add it? That's again n by k by k is the number of times you add one more a. And if this is not properly divisible, that means it might have one or two extra. So you'll add one more. Uh, so what will be the complexity? That's very easy for sorting the string. You will require n log n. Then you can also sort it using the frequency array, which will take n into 26. Since n is 10 to the power 5, uh, n log n suffices. So let's quickly have it right into the code. If you see in the code, what you take is uh, input of the string. And the next step is sort all the characters inside the string. So it will be already sorted. Uh, the, we check for the first case. That's very easy. S of O is not equal to S of K minus 1. Then we print S of K minus 1. And if they are not equal. So there was case 2 and case 3. So this is nothing but the case 3. And this is the case 2. So the case 2 is very simple. You take the first element and then append whatever is there from K to N. That is the reason I printed S of I. So for case 3, what you do is, you simply calculate the number of blocks. So what is the number of blocks? That is difference n minus k divided by k. And you take the first element and you append those many elements to it that many times. And you check if your difference mod k is not 0. That means if there is an extra element that has to be added. So you simply add it. If, if your blocks is not a complete divisor of the string length, 
So you gotta add one more. So you add it and you print it. So guys, this was all about the problem C from today's contest. Uh, let's in the next video, I'll be discussing the problem D. So just in case you have liked the video, do press on the like button and do not forget to subscribe my channel and yes, press the bell icon too to get notified.